ERP2. We all know the ERP research interest was fueled by the unsuccessful ERP implementation projects and has only recently been consolidated into a strategic and managerial perspective on enterprise systems management. In this lesson, we will study ERP2, features of ERP2 and the facilities offered by web enabling. After going through this presentation, you should be able to explain ERP2, describe added features of ERP2, discuss the open source ERP technologies and explain the facilities offered by web enabling. ERP2 is an important concept to industry and until now the research on this concept has neither been consistent nor conclusive as regards the content and status of this phenomena. In the study, the ERP2 concept will be approached by evaluating the development of the ERP packages and the emerging business requirements. The concept of ES has often been explained through the evolution of ERP. The concept of ES has evolved over almost 50 years, driven by the changing business requirements, new technologies and software vendor development capabilities. ERP is a standardized software package designed to integrate the internal value chain of an enterprise. An ERP system is based on an integrated database and consists of several modules aimed at specific business functions. According to the American Production and Inventory Control Society, APEX defines ERP as a method for the effective planning and controlling of all the resources needed to take, make, ship and account for customer orders in a manufacturing, distribution or service company. ERP has a big challenger from its own community. Its successor, ERP2, has been talked about much. However, there are also arguments that it is merely an extension of ERP. ERP and ERP2 have a lot of differences. The popular myth that ERP2 is the extension of ERP is not true. ERP2 has some comprehensive features that not concentrates on individual elements but synergizes them and makes the functioning of the concerned wholesome component more meaningful. The concept of ERP enjoyed wide applicability in the manufacturing sector. In addition, retail and distribution segments were benefited. They were also applicable to all industries and segments. However, the benefits were not worth the investment. ERP was designed to ease the conventional functions in an organization. If there were some new core functions, they did not come under the scope of ERP. ERP still helped in facilitating the business process. However, the outcome was not to the desired extent. ERP too has helped to remove this barrier by including maximum functions under its scope. ERP is prone to make use of internet facilities. However, they are not used to the maximum. On the contrary, ERP makes a minimal use of them. However, this is not the case with ERP2. ERP2 has been able to draw maximum benefits from the Internet. The operation of ERP is more focused within the organization. It has a far-reaching impact on external factors. On the contrary, ERP2 includes both internal and external factors. Open source technologies have made the job of ERP easier. It has helped the consumer in many ways other than cost. Lots of companies are increasingly using them. Influence of the cost factor. It is interesting to know the price tag of open source ERP technologies. It is literally available at free of cost. All that the user has to do is to download the software and install it. An unbelievable fact is that even the source code comes free. Open source ERP technologies largely influence operational expenses. The company is relieved from paying the extra sum for facilities provided in moving to a new system. Similarly, the company need not incur additional expenditures for renewal and purchase of licenses 
as and when some components are added in the framework. Unlike the usual ERP applications, it is not possible to avail the services of a vendor as the company handles everything independently. This has many dimensions. Firstly, the company enjoys a sole liability. Open source ERP has resulted in many lawsuit and incidental claims. There is still ambiguity in the copying aspects. Open source has a limit when it comes to the places where they can be put to use. It is not appropriate to introduce open source in those areas without changing the way the systems work. A company can go for open source if it is satisfied that its business modalities will be addressed. The point to be considered is will open source ERP cater to the particular business needs of the company. In addition, the errors could be easily deduced and corrected. This system not only helps the personnel in the company but also its stakeholders and well-wishers or anyone who would like to obtain information on the company. They can access the details anytime online. They will in turn speak to the concerned department, trace the product or get clarifications in the case of technical query or any other information and then get back to them after confirming the required and relevant details. This process could take a few days and a few weeks in case of errors. With the intervention of web ERP, all that the customer has to do is speak to the person in charge. Web-enabled ERP have been cited as one of the important reasons for ERP's dominance in the days to come. This system needs more development apart from the present changes. Web-enabled applications have greatly reduced the limitations of the manual data. These manual data became easily accessible after computerization and enterprise resource planning. However, the data brought under public domain was still not satisfactory. Web ERP applications have helped to improve this feature by offering everything online. Web-enabled application makes the job of the employees easy. They don't have to rely on others before taking a decision for every petty issue. The process layer is the central component which reflects the transaction-based systems. ERP2 is web-based, open and componentized. ERP is the central component in the ERP2 conceptual framework. The traditional ERP modules like financials, sales and distribution, logistics, manufacturing and human resources are still the backbone of ERP along with additional modules like quality management, project management or maintenance. BPM allows for a flexibility of ERP2 as regards different business practices but for specific segments that otherwise would require problematic customization like apparel and footwear or the public sector ERP2 also has vertical solutions. The analytical layer comprises the corporate components that enhance and extend central ERP functions by providing decision support for the management of relations and corporate issues. SCM systems support the planning and production of goods. CRM systems facilitate the managing of a broad set of functions that primarily include the customer identification process and customer service management. SRM is the vendor side analogy to CRM aimed at the effective management of the supplier base. SRM enables the enterprise to manage its supplier relations in their entire life cycle. Product lifecycle management PLM including product data management PDM enables enterprises to bring innovative and profitable products to market more effectively especially in the evolving e-business environment. The e-business layer is the portal of ERP2. The collaborative components deal with communication and integration between the ERP2 system and external factors. EAI or Extranet provides the ERP2 system with a platform for integration with other systems inside or outside the corporation. EAI provides the support for automating processes across various IT platforms, systems and organizations. The conceptual framework for ERP2 is a theoretical model 
based on generalized observations and on an analysis of the past and the present of the enterprise systems. The analysis focused on business requirements and the available technology, but the framework does not consider the actual business. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. ERP is a standardized software package designed to integrate the internal value chain of an enterprise. Right or wrong? Right. BPR stands for Business Process Reengineering. Right or wrong? Right. Web-enabled applications have greatly reduced the limitations of manual data. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. ERP2 is an important concept to industry and until now the research on this concept has neither been consistent nor conclusive as regards the content and status of this phenomena. In the study, the ERP2 concept will be approached by evaluating the development of the ERP packages and the emerging business requirements. Its successor, ERP2, has been talked about much. However, there are also arguments that it is merely an extension of ERP. ERP and ERP2 have lots of differences. ERP2 has some comprehensive features that not concentrates on individual elements but synergizes them and makes the functioning of the concerned wholesome component more meaningful. The concept of ERP enjoyed wide applicability in the manufacturing sector. Open source technologies have made the job of ERP easier. It has helped the consumer in many ways other than cost. Lots of companies are increasingly using them. Influence of the cost factor. It is interesting to know the price tag of open source ERP technologies. It is literally available free of cost. All that the user has to do is to download the software and install it. An unbelievable fact is that even the source code comes free. Open source has a limit when it comes to the places where they can be put to use. It is not appropriate to introduce open source in those areas without changing the way the systems work. A company can go for open source if it is satisfied that its business modalities will be addressed. Web-enabled ERP has been cited as one of the most important reason for ERP's dominance in the days to come. This system needs more development apart from the present changes. Web-enabled applications have greatly reduced the limitations of manual data. The process layer is the central component which reflects the transaction-based systems. ERP2 is web-based, open and componentized. ERP is the central component in the ERP2 conceptual framework. The traditional ERP modules like financials, sales and distribution, logistics, manufacturing and human resources are still the backbone of ERP along with additional modules like quality management, project management or maintenance. BPM allows for a flexibility of ERP2 as regards different business practices but for specific segments that otherwise would require problematic customization like apparel and footwear or the public sector, ERP2 also has vertical solutions.